you know, <laughs> I wish I looked better. I wish I was wearing a different outfit than the one that I wear in every single vlog that I do. But this is real life, guys. This is real life. It is currently, let me see, 4.56 on Friday. And today would have been a really good day for me to vlog. But it's been so crazy that I really... I mean, I don't even know if I would have had time to do it up until this point. So tomorrow, I already know, is going to be a busy day. So I just thought that I would start it now and kind of explain to you all what I've been doing. And um, yeah. <laughs> so I woke up today um, and I got to work at 8 o'clock in the morning. And literally all I did for my makeup was draw my eyebrows and throw my hair up in a ponytail because I had an early prearrangement. And that was all that I had today until... Um, now, which is a visitation that's gonna be starting in about an hour. So I figured, you know what? It's just been one of those days. <laughs> I thought that at seven o'clock this morning. Um, I'm just gonna go into work, do this pre-need, and then I'll come home and I'll finish getting ready for the rest of my day since I have nothing going on. And don't y'all know <laughs> that as soon as I was done with my pre-arrangement, um, the phone rings and we get a death call. And, um, I'm also the only funeral director. I feel like anytime I blog, I'm the only funeral director in the building. It's not always like this, I swear. The phone rang and we got a death call. So right after my pre-need, I had a family come in then to make arrangements and to take care of things like that. Um, and then <laughs> after that, I don't know why I'm laughing, guys. I think it's because if I don't laugh, I'm just gonna cry. Um, Cause that's just how my life goes over here. But um, after that death call, we ended up getting another death call. So I have been at work like all day looking like this meeting with families and um, Thankfully no one has like said anything about my appearance because honestly I would have been like can we meet with somebody else? Can we meet with somebody who you know puts a little puts a little care into their uh, into their face and into their their appearance because By the way, there's nobody in that casket. I'm just sitting in our casket showroom right now. So yeah, just so you guys know. But basically, to kind of wrap this little bit up, um, I am going to be at work until after 9 o'clock tonight because that's when the visitation ends. And I just have a lot of paperwork and a lot of stuff to do. So I just figure, you know what? It's not often that I work uh, full visitations because we have people who sit and who do that for me. Um, but today, just because of how everything's going and the paperwork and what I need to get done, um, I figured I'm just going to stay here through. I'll leave and get like something to eat or whatever for dinner. But um, I figured that I'm just going to stay here. So I'll end up probably getting home about 9.30 or 10 o'clock tonight um, after doing like paperwork and stuff like that um and then i'm gonna pick up this vlog tomorrow to kind of take you along for my day tomorrow okay guys it is 7 14 right now on saturday um i already did my makeup and got ready although it's hard to tell i feel i still look like Ugh, tired but i figured that i would start off um today's videos with somewhat makeup done because I think y'all saw enough of Naked Face Lauren yesterday but right now what I'm going to do is um, number one I'm gonna go get a coffee because I desperately need one right now um, and number two yesterday when I was leaving the visitation I had a family tell me that they after the church service today they want to drive by the house before we go to the cemetery which is something that we do quite often but um, I just want to drive by the house so when I am leading that funeral procession I know what house it is ahead of time so that I can stop at that before we go to the cemetery so I'm gonna go get Tim Hortons I'm going to go drive the route that I'm gonna be driving this morning and then I'm going to the funeral home uh, to get ready for the service hey guys do you see that house right there that is actually the house that i was born in when i was a little girl i forgot um i had to get my car washed too so that's where i am right now um anytime i use my car for a it's so loud in here <laughs> Anytime I use my car um, as the lead car in a funeral procession, I have to get it washed so it looks nice and um, 
yeah so that's where I am <laughs> okay guys have you noticed that I've been listening to Miley Cyrus basically for the whole morning that um these couple of clips or whatever low-key love her new album newer album younger than I don't know I think my husband got it for me for Christmas last year so I guess it's not really that new but no shame in that game um so anyways it's 7 49 in the morning I just got to the funeral home um so I'm going to go in and get everything situated for the two funerals that I have this morning the one funeral is at 9 30 it's 7 50 right now um and it's assembling at church so we have to line up cars when uh we arrive there and then we're gonna have a catholic mass after we're passing by the deceased house going to the cemetery for the burial um and then my second funeral is at 11 a.m it is for cremated remains i'm not going to be able to get there right on time uh because i know that the 9 30 mass is going to the burial is going to kind of like run into that a little bit so Keith is going to leave that funeral uh, the 931 you know when it gets close to 11 he's gonna take the cremated remains to church he's gonna set everything up there and then right after the burial I'm going to head on over to the church which is not super far away from the cemetery for the 11 o'clock mass and then I'll be able to finish up over there um, after that so far we have not gotten any other calls probably just jinx myself and um then i'll come back to the funeral home do some more paperwork because there's always paperwork and then at three o'clock i have an arrangement conference for a um call that we got yesterday so that's kind of where we are right now at this church they offer polish classes so you can learn polish and look i'm gonna try to do this my brother gave me a basic Polish CD, so sometimes I listen to this in my car. I still don't know anything except how to say Shepresham, which I believe is, excuse me, but I haven't listened to this in about a couple months, so it might not even mean that. So maybe I should go to that school, learn some Polish. Hi, Keith. Hi, Keith. <laughs> what time is it? I have to get a watch. 8.47. It's 8.47 in the morning. We're, um waiting for family to arrive so we can park their cars. Keith is really in a bad mood this morning, which I don't know. <laughs> he is in a bad mood this morning. It's 9.37, uh, the mass just started. Fun fact, this church is actually the only church that this has ever happened to me at, which I'm kind of surprised. Um, I was in this church maybe about like a year, year and a half ago, and when we were walking back from bringing the casket up front, I actually fell in the aisle, so I'm very, very classy, obviously. But now we're just going to wait until the mass is over with, and then we're going to head on over to the cemetery. Okay, it is 11.08. Right now, I just dropped the priest off at the rectory from my first mass at 9.30. I am on my way to my 11 o'clock mass. I am a little bit late, but that's okay because I knew that I was going to be, so Keith is over there right now, and he started everything with that mass. So um, as soon as I get in over there, I will end everything at that church, and I'll just keep you guys updated. It's 11.16 a.m. Um, I got to the church. Uh, this church was just like a couple miles away from the other church that we had the funeral at today. So I went in, I checked on everything, um, but Keith has it under control because he has been doing this for a long time. So for cremated remains, uh, you don't need a funeral director, but we know this family very well because the church that we're at right now, Keith and I actually volunteer a lot at. So we know um, the one daughter because she's always volunteering at things over here. She's very active. So um, basically at the end of the mass then, what's gonna happen is um, me and Keith will walk up to the front 
there's a photograph I'll grab the picture Keith is going to grab the urn and then we will process out like we were going to do if it was a Catholic mass for a regular full casket so we still try to keep a lot of traditional aspects um, around for funerals is that the, I don't even know if that's the right word guys I'm just tired so <laughs> I can't use my words today, but yeah, so this mass um, will probably still be going on for another half hour or so. It'll probably end sometime around noon, and then we will be going back to the funeral home, doing paperwork, getting things organized for airplanes, super loud, uh, for the next meeting that I have, which is at 3. It is so hot in this church right now. 12.06 right now, um, the mass ended, and I am probably going to be going through a drive through and getting some food, and then heading back to the funeral home. Okay, um, it's currently 2.43 right now. I've just been at the funeral home doing paperwork. Um, basically what happens is, after we complete a funeral service, we have a file for each case that we do, and um, in that file is all the paperwork and the contract and all the information like that. So once it's completed, I go through that file, I make certain that all the paperwork that's supposed to be in there is in there. I make certain that all the information is in our computer system as well, and then I go through the contracts and I make certain that all of that information's in the computer um, because the funeral home where I work does not require to be paid in full by the date of the services. Um, the funeral home where I used to work did require that. Um, that was their payment policy, but for whatever reason where I work now, um, some of it is due at the time of the services and then there is a payment policy where it has to be due within a certain number of days. So I go through the contracts, make certain everything's in the computer, and then I print out a bill um, and write it in a billing book so then I can remember to send out that bill about like a week or so after the services so that's what i've been doing going through the two files and a couple other files that i have slacked on just a little bit so um i made certain that all that paperwork is in order the family that i'm going to be meeting will be coming in within 15 minutes so what i'm going to do now is grab all the paperwork that i have for them it's a pre-arrangement so um i know this family they're so so nice we buried another one of their family members only in february um, so unfortunately they've lost two people in a very short time period, but they're, they're so nice. Um, and it's prearranged, so we kind of know what we're doing ahead of time. They haven't come in yet, but we know what the services are going to be basically. So I'm going to grab all that paperwork. I'm going to go in the front office of the funeral home and just wait for them. And when they get in, we'll go over all the details, make certain that we have everything set up the way that they want it. And then once they leave, I'll come back here and start emailing the newspaper um and making sure i have everything set up for them it's 304 my family hasn't come in yet and we just got a, another death call it is 4 41 p.m right now um i just got done meeting with that family oh my gosh they were so nice like i said i kind of know this family because um we just buried another member of their of their family only a couple of months ago and they brought me in food um because the gentleman owns his own business so they're just that's one of the nice things about working in a funeral home and I know this is going to sound kind of weird but you really do get to make connections with certain people and you really do get to form just these bonds with these families that you serve and it's such a rewarding part of this job like this gentleman I would I can see him out and I love him I just I absolutely love him um the nicest family so it's it's really nice when you're able to make a difference in others lives and you know that you're making a hard time for somebody easier basically now that they're gone what I have to do is I have do you guys seriously like like the caskets I'm just sitting in my casket showroom um, but anyways, uh, what I have to do now is just notify the newspaper. I already notified, uh, the church, so I got a hold of somebody over there on a Saturday, yes. Um, and I have to just make certain that I have certain things all, uh, taken care of for my deadlines, and then basically, um, we'll be all set then. It's 5.20 right now. I am officially done with all of the work that I have to get done for, um, tomorrow for my deadlines and everything like that and can we just take a minute to like 
I did get ready this morning, but all of my makeup is like, I just sweat it off today because it was not as hot as it's been over here, but it was hot and I've been running around. So I just gotta get my life together, guys. You know, when we get busy over here, I can't let it affect my makeup game. Oh my gosh. Um, no, I'm just kidding. It is what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited because I'm going to go home. I'm going to relax. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my other little clips over here, but we did get another death call. I think I did mention it. Um, we did get another death call. And I was able to contact the family, and um, I'm actually going to be meeting them on Monday. Right now, it's currently Saturday, because they are having people drive in tomorrow on Sunday, and they kind of want to take tomorrow to talk about the details of the services uh, with their loved ones and their family members before they come in and make arrangements with me. So we have an idea of what we're doing. We just kind of don't know the time frame and different details like that. So they're going to take tomorrow. They're going to relax. Um, they're going to go over this stuff with their family. Then I'm going to meet with them on Monday. So right now I'm all done. Um, and we just wait now if something else happens tomorrow um, or if something else happens in the middle of the night tonight. I have a completely free day tomorrow where I could make arrangements with the family um, and take care of things as they come so yeah basically I'm just gonna go home now gonna rest up and that's about it so this is probably where I'm gonna end this vlog for the time being if you guys liked it you can give it a thumbs up you can leave me a comment um, if you guys still like these vlogs I'll continue to do them um, but yeah, that is basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.